Hey guys, John Trousdale at the PRI show in Indianapolis. I'm here with my friend Allison Blackstein and we are in the Dinocom booth. We're excited to be here because we have a new theme for 2018. We do. It is go big or go home. Go big or go home. I like the sound of that. Now tell me, what does that mean? Basically, we the horsepower and torque levels are just going up, and so we have to evolve with that, and that's what we've done. We, we've always had the biggest eddy current break. Uh, now we've actually added the ability to have a secondary eddy break, which can hold over 6,000 foot-pounds of torque. So you're responding to the market. Obviously, even the OEM's numbers are getting higher and higher and higher. We're standing in front of the DC 15,000. This is your new chassis dyno. Tell me about the numbers that this can handle. And this dyno's been on the market, but it's evolving. So we've redesigned the air brake system. We've added a secondary eddy brake. Um, it's good for 15,000 foot-pounds of torque in wide open throttle, and in steady state now, 6,000 foot-pounds of torque. So obviously, that's, those are big numbers. Who's the ideal user for this? So this particular model we sold to uh, Dan's Diesel, which uh, diesel customers uh, are really all about the torque, anybody doing tractor pulling, uh, but even all the drag guys, anybody doing anything over 2,500 horsepower, they're going to need the ability to steady state that horsepower. It's crazy that 2,500 horsepower is a number that a lot of people are hitting for a bunch of different applications. 2,500 horsepower is a lot of stuff you see on the street, even. It's, it's crazy. It is crazy. I love it. Okay, so this thing is nice and wide. That works for the diesel guys. Correct. 102 inch track width, not just for diesel guys, but a four bearing system. So the more bearings, the higher the load, the higher the speed. And updated electronics. Tell me about that. Yeah, we've redesigned. We've got our new LED lighting system, uh, upgraded our integrated cooling fans. The air brake system's been upgraded. Um, so you upgrade your car, you got to upgrade your dyno. So up to 3,000 horsepower on this one. When we get past that, where do we need to go? Really, the issue at, at over 3,000 horsepower is traction. You know, you see it on the street and you'll see it on the dyno. And the only way to really get past that 3,000 horsepower level on a dyno is to then go to a hub dyno. Get off the chassis, get onto the hub dyno. Correct. Take the tire out of the equation. And you've got something for us for those guys who are above 3,000. Oh, we definitely do. And Paul will talk all about it. And here we are with Paul Arsenault at Dynocom. Now, Paul, Allison tells me that you're the guy to talk to about your new high-capacity hub dyno. This thing is well north of 3,000 horsepower. Correct, it is. Um, we've actually been making hub dynos since 2008, and we are the U.S. patent holder of the Eddie Brake hub dyno. Um, in 2012, we actually had a hub dyno capable of over 3,000 horsepower, and I would consider anything before 2012 or 2014 our older generation platform. And this year we released this big boy, which is capable of over 9,000 horsepower in a sweep test. It can absorb 7,200 horsepower. So you can pretty much put your, you know, funny car you got parked in the garage on this hub dyno and run it full throttle. That's what it was made for. All right. So I got to know, how are you handling those numbers? How are you getting there? Well, we, we, you know, when we came up with this platform, we needed to come up with something to say, well, how, hey, how do we do that? Um, it wasn't as simple as just throwing in some eddy brakes and into a, basically a chassis. We had to really go to the next generation of engineering. And what we did, we used three smaller eddy brakes and it spun them up multiple, a multitude faster than the old generation. How we do that is basically incorporate a very efficient helica type gear drive system, which speeds up the, all the three secondary eddy brakes. And you were telling me earlier that it's sort of counterintuitive, but running three smaller bra brakes lets you dump heat more efficiently, lets you, lets you be a little more configurable. Absolutely. What, what the, in a nutshell, a large eddy brake, the core kind of saturates. And after a couple minutes, it essentially can't hold as much torque as the peak torque in the, in the initial when it started holding. Smaller eddy brakes, when you spin them up faster, can dissipate that heat better and in the long run they're simply more efficient and with the gearbox and the uh, the drive system it's a winner and simply put it, it can hold 7,200 horsepower in steady state. That is just a silly number it's hard to believe looking at this thing because it's so compact. It absolutely is compact and it's actually very configurable we call the three slots it's called a tripod for a reason there's three modules which we call chambers and those chambers can be configurable um, for instance you can order it with one eddy brake or we call it a power absorption unit which in the industry is well known as an eddy brake 
or you can have two Eddy brakes or three Eddy brakes, or you could have two Eddy brakes and an AC motor. We've tried this with a 25 horsepower motor, or that third slot could be a, a Bosch axial hydraulic motor. In this case, the units behind me have two Eddy brakes and a large inertia disc roller, so you can allow motorcycles and recreational vehicles to run on it or on them like a traditional chassis dyno. So, so you can you can throw the the ATV on top of this thing like a chassis dyno. Absolutely, when they're paired, obviously, correct. So, with that ability to configure this thing different ways, it sounds like maybe for the power shop or even the guy who's tuning dragsters, tuning diesel trucks, it can kind of grow with you. Absolutely. I mean, you can order these units with one eddy brake, and with in one eddy brake configuration, it's approximately a three thousand horsepower system. With two eddy brakes but a 5,000 horsepower system, and with the three Eddie brakes, 7,200 horsepower. So they grow with your needs. Um, so it's not necessarily made right off the show for a top fuel dragster. It can be made for somebody that's putting down 100 horsepower. It works. It's a little more fun to talk about the top fuel dragsters, though. So let's say I've got my funny car, my top fuel car, bolted up to this thing. How are you dealing with that vibration? Because that's just crazy power. It's going rattle to the, rattle the pictures off the wall. As I said, it's the next generation evolution of our, our hub dyno system. The entire platform of these units is essentially rides on a cushion, a cushion of air and a cushion of rubber. Um, on the output shaft, we have a massive 10 inch flex disc coupling to handle the vibration from the 4140 shaft to the unit itself. When you're essentially when you're riding on this, it feels like you're riding on air. Well, you guys aren't kidding when you say go big or go home. Where can we go to get more information? Dynacom.net, Instagram, or Facebook. All right. Well, Paul, thanks for having us out and stay tuned because there's a lot more coming your way from PRI. PRI.